you got th you got 30 seconds so for me data loss is the biggest threat right now in terms of ai y'all data loss is the biggest threat in general in terms of your organization right now we do not have a handle on data in terms of governance, in terms of classification, in terms of retention, in terms of anything. So we think about data, data is fundamental. It is the soil, it is the future, it is everything. In terms of governance, in terms of charters, we need to protect it. And what Mitch is gonna say, what is the fundamental? Data! So we have to All right, to that's it. it. You only get 30 seconds. All right. 30 seconds, Mitch. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Uh, in the age of data and AI being both the gold and the gold rush, data poisoning is the alchemist taking the gold into lead. Now, it whispers sweet nothings into your model's AI until it, until it spouts absolute nonsense. It's also the silent assassin that takes away chip by chip to a company, or it rips the heart out of the entire business like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Data poisoning is where it's at. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an expert. You can trust me. I asked chat GPT. <laughs> All right, you got 15 seconds. Get off my lawn. I'm worried about quantum. I'm worried about IoT. I'm worried about cyber being the war of keyboards. I'm not worried about your data poisoning right now. I'm worried about protecting my intellectual property. So in terms of your data poisoning, that is the future. I have too much to worry about. And you know what? I already can't freaking sleep at night. So your data poisoning, just and, get off my lawn. And time, 15 seconds, Mitchum. Now listen, just the ubiquity of a problem doesn't mean that we do something different. We all still get in cars every day, and those are a big problem. We take the data that we need to do, do your cybersecurity program basics right, you protect it. But if you have no house left and it's burned down from your AI data poisoning, you've got nothing left. 15 seconds, Gina. <laughs> point y'all he just made my point we have to protect our data because guess what if it's disclosed we may be um, disclosing position of our troops position of our police officers position of spies and ransomware and other types of things you proved my point completely thank you so much Mitchell 15 oh, seconds <laughs> wow. listen these things seem like issues, but we have protections today. It doesn't matter. We protect against them. If you can't protect your own AI models from doing everything that the business is going to go ahead of security and do, then you're doing nothing for the business. You're holding them back, and it will eventually be corrupted by that. Last 15. Um, I'm looking for a husband then because guess what nobody can afford a large language model unless it's open source which is tons of vulnerabilities and when we think about the future you're completely in the future we can't even handle our basics so when we think about brilliance in the basics and mastering the fundamentals you are thinking far out into the future i'm ready for today and we need to master okay that. here's why we have referees here's why we have referees george bring it home keep them honest I feel like I just listened to ChatGPT argue with Bard. <laughs> I'll take ChatGPT for 100. So, so neither one of you mentioned cyber criminals using AI to, to leverage attacks. Well, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Mitchum. <laughs> That's higher ed right there. That's higher ed right there. Thank you, God, for bringing me five awesome refs. <laughs> Mitchum, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Listen, cyber criminals are the least of the worries, actually, in AI. It's internal resources giving away the data models for AI that are going to cause the issue. We already know that corporate espionage will take it. When any business can take ahead 50% of the market share from somebody else with their models, that will change the entire game of profitability to take someone out. Again, you got 15 seconds. He just proved my point because that's academic, that's in the future. We have to protect what's today, which is actually buying technology and doing governance. So hackers using data poisoning is only in an academic state of research, it's right now. So Okay, okay, so the way we do this is Fair. it's a jump ball with the other four. Which one of you wants to ask a question? Come on, you're, you're chomping at the bit. Go ahead, Dave. Make him squirm. The argument that I keep hearing is that it's it's 
all about, you know, data. The question is speed. How do you deal with speed? How are you going to deal, how are you going to outmaneuver AI when it comes to speed of defense? I'm going to let you go first. Gina, you're going first. Come out to me. Tell Gina, them. Gina, you're going first. 15 seconds. So luckily we have great partners in the community that are using AI to fight, uh, fight AI. So we have to lean in. We also have to build communities of interest. We have to also talk to our groups and build uh, charters, policies, and other things to lean in. When we think about data modeling, we have to do from orbit source to uh, large language models that are proprietary as well as okay, okay, leveraging okay. others. Okay, okay, okay. 15 seconds, this is it, and then we vote. Nightshade AI, take a, take a look. It's already corrupting everything that searches for those pictures. It's already here, the speed is already here, and it's current. The speed of protections will not be able to keep up unless you're already using AI that's being used against you. All right, okay, okay. That was a fairly interesting back and forth fight. So now we're gonna vote. You guys are gonna decide, okay? Hey, Michael, well, the refs aren't sure that the, he answered the question. We are kings of ad-libbing here, but we're still going straight to the vote, all right? You guys can decide if what he said has merit. All right, we're starting here first. Give it up for Mitchum. Crowd favorite. All right, this is a tough vote. Give it up for Gina. Thank you, Dad. I think you guys know who that was, and the winner, by a hair, was Genia Kong from Trace 3.